Hello everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by webvidtuts.com. This is video 12 in the HTML training series and in this video we will be covering lists. So let's begin by just creating a HTML document like I have right here. And after you're done doing that, let's just go ahead and let me explain to you what you can use lists for. A list and a web page will just basically list any kind of list that you want. Whether let, let's say you want to list all your favorite TV shows, well, you'd put that in a list. Or let's say my, my favorite drinks, you'd put all of them in a list. What a list does, it just has them like one by one. Like let's say I'm doing my favorite drinks, it'd have um, have like coffee. Have soda and uh, what's another one I drinks that I like? Uh, Mountain Dew, that's a good one. And just just any kind of list like that. So let's go ahead and start making one of these lists, and I will actually use my favorite drinks. Okay, just do it. Go ahead and uh, just follow what I follow what I type. Let's make a paragraph tag right there. Let's make a close paragraph tag. Oh. All right, let's make a few spaces right here. To start a list, or what we are going to use, which is an unordered list, you'll put the you'll put a unordered list tag, which is U L U L standing for unordered list. And then let's get down here and just create a closing unordered list tag. And right between the uh, opening paragraph tag and the unordered list tag opening. Let's put my favorite drinks. Let's put a colon right there to make it pretty fancy looking. And let's go ahead and save that in case some lightning hits your house and your computer fries and it shuts down. What are the odds of that happening? Not very big at all. But if it does happen, you'll be ready because you just saved your document. Okay. Now, what we have to do on the unordered list tag is every item that you want to put, you have to put a, let's go ahead and hit tab right there, you have to put a list tag in there. So it's like, hey, this is part of the list that you were making. Um, and in between the first list tag that we made, all right, and the list tag is li, by the way, and then there's a closing li right there. And in between each list tag, you'll put what you want to put in the list. Like since uh, we're doing my favorite drinks, uh, we'll put coffee. Coffee is pretty good. So it's keeping me awake right now, even though it's only 7:20 in the afternoon. Okay, we'll make another li tag. We have some more stuff to this list. Um, Mountain Dew. That's a really good one. Although it does destroy my stomach, but we'll save that for a later video. What's well, another one of my favorite drinks? Go ahead and save that in case of that lightning storm. Uh, we'll just say uh, Coca-Cola. I like that. And you know what? I think it's a pretty sufficient list right now. So let's go ahead and see what this list looks like in Internet Explorer. As you can see, it has my favorite drinks right here. And then we start our list right here, our unordered list. And when you're doing an unordered list, in front of each list item, there will be a black dot right there. That's in front of coffee, Mountain Dew, and Coca-Cola. And as you can see, it puts in a new line each list item that you have. And that is how you do unordered lists. Um, let's go ahead and make an ordered list. All the, the only difference between an ordered list and an unordered list is that the ordered list will have numbers instead of the black dots. And it will list them like 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's just can change that unordered list to an ordered list. The only thing I'm doing is changing that U we had there to an O for ordered. And then the same for the closing tag. Don't ever forget about that closing tag. And so this is going to make a ordered list. Not only will I list all these things in order, well, not in, yeah, in order, but uh, it will show you how many I have in that list. So let's go ahead and launch an Internet Explorer. And right there, we're using numbers right now. So this is my first favorite drink. This is my second favorite drink. This is my third favorite drink. 
that's actually not in real order, but <laughs> it's good enough for this video. Okay, and that is how you use an ordered list and an or unordered list. Remember, you always have to have your list tags are here for which item you're going to put inside the ordered list or the unordered list. Alright, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you learned a lot about lists. Um, and that is all. Go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And go ahead and register as a member on webvidtouch.com. And you all have a good day. Goodbye.